So what you do to put data validation, for example, on that cell there, uh, what I do is highlight that cell, go up under the options called data, and under data you'll find there will be a menu option called data validation. Click on that, and then you just fill in this form. On the left-hand side, the first thing is you've got a drop-down list box where you can select a number of options. Here we'll select the option called decimal. What we're saying is the number uh, could, be a, could be a decimal number. Uh, so we'll just click on that. And when you do that, it then gives you the option to specify the lower and upper values. So let's say this is interest rates. Uh, on a practical sense, interest rates are probably not likely to go less than, say, 2%, not likely to be, uh, say, greater than 20%. And so what I've done is I've put a, a limit in there that when you're entering interest rates, it must lie between that range of, of 2 or 20%. Now, that's all you have to do. But what I would recommend is you do use the other options. Next to the settings, there is an option called input message. And this allows you to put in a short message to tell the user what's the right answer or what we are expecting in this input. And it doesn't have to be complex. For example, here we can just say um, enter an annual interest rate. Now we have put a restriction between 2 and 20, so put that in the prompt so people know what the restrictions are, between 2 and 20. 